high young female STEM enthusiasts and future professionals. My name is Florencia Toscano, part of the business innovation team at Toyota. I was born in Buenos Aires, Argentina. I grew up in a buzzy environment, daughter of a merchant and a teacher. So education was a pretty serious topic at home. Back in the 80s, when I was a young girl, just like you, STEM was not really a known direction. If you had a passion for engineering and technology, you would most likely end up in a technical school. Eventually, I completed my bachelor's degree in economics and languages, and then a master's in international commerce and marketing. After completing my studies, I started working in the petrochemical industry, both upstream and downstream. Soon enough, I realized that there weren't many women working in the scientific nor technological sector. I've been a very curious person all my life, and this led me to the next chapter of my adventure. Being just 23 years old, I decided to leave all behind and move 10,000 kilometers to the UK to work for a systems company. Then I joined IBM as a postgraduate. From that point onwards, many doors opened up for me. I started traveling around Europe and US, where I met many people from different cultures and also discovered many new ways of working. Since 2001, I've been involved in multiple systems implementation projects, always helping translate customers' expectations and requirements, eventually to become the final product. It has always fascinated me how important but difficult it can be at times when trying to translate the customer's needs into technological solutions. I also learned a lot from mentors. Mentors are those that can recognize your strengths, but also your weaknesses and help you understand where you can improve. Mentors usually have much more experience than you and recognize the struggles you are going through and how to tackle them. So the key is to listen to yourself, but also others. This gives you insights about what others think and why they may think differently from you. To give you an example, in COVID times, while I was part of the learning and development team, we had to resort to virtualize pretty much everything and very quickly. We had to reduce our calendar, our training catalog, our training duration, but our content became more efficient. Even when these were hard times, and really, really strange times for people, but also companies, trying to navigate through this very strange new world, we learned how to simplify things, our processes, in fact, to look at training from the employee perspective. By that, maximize the learning and its application into the workplace. Today at Toyota, I lead a team with a very exciting new mission to develop the future of HR data analytics and HR solutions. This was a slightly unexplored territory and full of opportunities to pioneer on people insights with the end goal to support leaders to make informed but also fast decisions. Although the road is never perfect, and you will encounter struggles and challenges. It is all part of the learning journey. Having to adapt to a very fast moving business landscape where technology is at the center of modern society. Where the demand for new products are shaped by the environment and the consumer's demands. I encourage you all young ladies around the world to follow your instincts, be proud of yourselves and your choices, and there to experience new directions. And a small final tip, search for a mentor who can help you develop through. The future is not written and you are part of it. Let curiosity lead you. There is a world of opportunities out there. Good luck.